Good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. I'm glad you can join me. If you join me for the first time, I do videos that include um, content about handbags, handbag unboxings, handbag reviews, um, handbag what fits, styling, um, shoes, fashion, just anything really that I might find in my closet that I feel is of interest that I want to share. And if you're interested, that's the channel. This is the channel to be. Um, I was trying to think of something to do today. I wanted to do something interesting. And I said, oh, you know what? I'll do a video about seasonal bags, bags that I just use in the winter or the fall or what I feel only really works in the winter or the fall. Or, you know, some people have summer bags and obviously some people have bags that they just use in the winter. And then I started to realize, wait a second, I don't know where everybody lives. There's obviously millions of people, millions of people all over the world, even in my little YouTube circle of friends that I've met, the f most fabulous group of people, they all live in different parts of the country and the world. So, you know, if, if somebody's watching from Florida and has never lived anywhere else, they might not get that there's seasons or what seasons are really like to, to live through. Somebody, you know, in, in Europe or, you know, somebody in Vegas that has no idea what humidity does to your hair, this is pretty much what it does. Um, anyway, so I wanted to do a video on what I have um, in my closet, in my handbag collection, that I only use in the fall or the winter. And if you don't live in a climate where you have seasons, let me know if you would still buy these bags. Would you still wear these bags? I have an attraction to shirling. Um, I have an attraction to fur. I don't wear fur. I'm a huge animal fan, activist. Um, however, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. My bags are leather. Most luxury bags, high-end luxury bags, are lambskin or calfskin or you know, cow or it, it is what it is. I'm not going to go into explaining it. So I don't want to be hypocritical. I don't wear fur coats. Um, however, I do have a couple of bags that are fur um, related. So I'm, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just hoping that they get the fur from shaving, you know, and not, and not, I don't want to talk about it because this is a positive video. So I am going to start right away with one of my most used handbags. And I might put my glasses on for this one. I, I don't usually wear my glasses because I feel like I look like a granny. Um, but I might put them on for this because I have all the paperwork. Well, I have only four bags that I use only in the fall or the winter. And I have the paperwork for three of them. One I bought on eBay, so I don't have any um, paperwork you know, because I, I know it's from eBay and I could just print out a receipt if I needed to. So I'm going to start with this absolutely gorgeous bag. It's one of my favorite bags in my collection and I only use it in the fall or winter, not even fall like September, October, because we still get warm weather. So I only use it kind of like November through March. And then I kind of put it away, probably why, well, I take care of my, my handbags, but this is probably why it's in pristine condition. And I've had it for a lot longer than I thought when I looked at the receipt. It doesn't, um, I got this from Nordstrom and it doesn't say the exact price. I don't understand why, um, but it does say the name of it. And I did purchase this bag in, where's the date? December of 2015. So, you know, when I said I started collecting only three, four years ago, I really started collecting three, four years ago. But I did buy a luxury bag here and there in between, maybe like once a year for a special occasion, either my anniversary or a birthday. Um, but, you know, it was very far and few between. So this bag was purchased in Nordstrom in 2015 in December. I tried to look for this bag online. I couldn't really find it. Look at this bag. This is a Fendi. 
It's a tote. The leather reminds me of the Louis Vuitton Epi leather. Um, I'll show it to you up close. I'll tell you what this says. The exact name of this is, it just says um, Fendi Small Roll in the multicolor, black multicolor, Sherling. I know I paid about 1300 for this bag, probably not more. This bag would probably, I don't even know what it would be if it was now, it's all leather. It's a shoulder strap. It has the key crochet. This bag has two wall pockets. Let me turn it around. No, nope, that's not it. Where are they? Yeah, two wall pockets on the back and two side pockets right here, which it's, it fits like a hand sanitizer. Not, not much more, but a hand sanitizer. And the other side has the same pocket. So it has two wall pockets, two side pockets, and, and a zipper. This zips closed. I don't know if you could tell the colors. It's like a cream a turquoise, yellow, pink, and a tannish brown. This bag has no wear on it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's not super, um, super huge either. It's, it's, it's a good size for me. I don't, I'm not going to give the measurements because I'm just running through my bags quickly. But would you wear this in the summer? Would you purchase this if you live in Florida or in, in Nevada or you know, anywhere where it's a really, really warm climate. It's one of my favorite bags. I do not use it except in the winter or, or deep into the fall when it's turning winter. My next bag, which is also a stunner, is this Chloe. This is called the Small Saddle Bag in Caramel, and it has the Sherling. I have the receipt for this. I bought it in Bloomingdale's in 2020, and it was 11.50. I haven't looked it up. I don't know. I love this bag. If anyone's a Chloe fan, it has the front pocket here, which is a decent size, um, like hand sanitizer size, maybe. Um, could fit a card case, but it's kind of on the outside. It does not have, oh, it does have a card. It does, it has one card holder on the inside. It fits my phone because I only usually buy, except for my last purchase, bags that fit my phone. This bag is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. But, you know, if you lived in Florida, would you purchase this? Would you wear a bag like this? You know, animals come out in the summer too. <laughs> it's not like they're not around. You know, animals have fur and they live in the summer and they live in warm climates. It's just, it's my preference. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I mean, I love it. I love this bag. My next bag is, you've seen this on my Dooney and Burke collection. I don't have a receipt, I don't remember. I only bought this also about two years ago. It's the um, City Mini, I believe. I don't remember the exact name. It's in black suede and it's absolutely stunning. I also do not wear this in, you know, unless it's a deep fall into winter. It's a suede handbag, I, I don't know. Do, do, do people that live in warm climates buy suede? It's a fair question, right? This bag is gorgeous. I, you know, I think I used it once. That's typical. Where am I putting this guy? Okay, let me throw that over there. And one more. I have the last one. I have uh, paperwork on this one. This one is a really very unique bag. I obviously I like bags that not everyone has that are very different. I bought this in Neiman Marcus. It was on sale from I think 2240 
to 1193. That's what I paid, 1193. I wore this bag only once. When did I buy this bag? This bag is also from Where is the date? Oh, this is also from 2020. This is very interesting. I love this bag. This is a YSL. I think it's a Lou camera. Oh yeah, the Lou medium camera bag zebra brown pattern. This is um, calf hair, I believe you could see. This bag is, is absolutely stunning. It, it's stunning. It's brown, dark brown, like a dark, dark, you know, rich brown. The hardware is like a gold, it's like an antique gold, kind of like on the denim one. And it has studs going all the way around. The price of this bag was phenomenal for $1,200. It was, like I said, I believe it was uh, 22 or 24 and it was on sale for eleven ninety three. I couldn't resist because Again, I, I love the, the, the fur look. It's not look, it's real fur. Um, and I love YSL camera bags. I have a gray one, you know, the gray Chevron, and I have the uh, Soho Disco camera. I like camera bags. They're very functional, and they hold a lot. Does it have anything on the inside? I don't know, I don't, it does. It has actually a large pocket on the inside. You can't tell because it's dark. It's dark. The whole bag is um, dark brown inside. But it has one slip pocket. But it's not just like a card slip pocket. It's like a slip pocket where you could actually fit like, you know, maybe your card case and a hand sanitizer, something like that. This bag, it has a tassel like the typical YSL camera bags. It's, it's big. It's not like the baby or the mini. It's the medium size. This bag is stunning. It really is. It's stunning and it holds a lot. It does not have a de uh, detachable crossbody strap. It's just, um, it's attached, but it is adjustable. So, again, if you live in a, in a, in a warm climate, would you purchase any of these bags? If you lived where, where it, Obviously, if you live in a warm climate and you would purchase these bags, then obviously you would have no problem wearing them in the warm weather, in the heat, in the summertime. Um, I don't know. I don't. Certain places don't, you know, only have summertime. Here, I feel like if I'm wearing boots with certain, you know, with certain bags, I'm not going to wear boots today because it's 80 degrees. Um, although I know, you know. Some young girls will wear mini skirt with boots in the summer or whatever, maybe 25 years ago, but not now. Again, all these bags are away and I don't take them out till kind of like end of October. And it's, it's a shame because I love them, but I just feel like they, it just doesn't work in 80 degrees. So if you live in a warm climate, you don't have the luxury of wearing bags that have fur on them or fur detail or, or whatnot? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below if you live in a warm climate or even if you live in a climate that has seasons, you know, if you live in New York, Pennsylvania, wherever, you know, and you have suede handbags, anything with fur, let me know. Do you use them all year round? I'd like to know. And I'm going to consider this a tag video. I don't know how to do an actual tag down below. Um, and I don't want to forget anybody. So I'm just letting, you know, whoever is out there that watches my videos, whoever's out there that's in my circle of, you know, YouTube friends, jump on the winter bag bandwagon. Um, I do have Julie of the Day not nothing you know nothing special but if you're new to my channel i have this uh silver paper clip chain probably about 15 years and i layered it with this um 
sterling silver herringbone I just re recently got, excuse me, in uh, on Amazon. If you're interested, just, you know, inquire and I'll let you know exactly where I got it. But, you know, I don't want to start linking all the videos of each piece I'm wearing, etc. and so on. But um, I'll be more than happy to look it up for you if you're interested. Um, I'm just wearing my regular watch, my wedding stuff, my sapphire ring. But bag of the day, I'm just letting everyone know because I obviously I did a video. I compared this bag to my Nano Speedy and I did what fits. I wear the heck out of this bag. I wear the heck out of this bag. It's the, the extra small Louis Vuitton keep all in the watercolor. I wear the heck out of this bag. It's, it's like one of my favorites. One of my favorites. I, you know, I have probably a top three or four. Um, I know you guys did a favorite video, um, but I'll get to that. So anyway, have a great day. And um, sorry, something's popping up on my laptop. Have a great day. It's Sunday. Have a great week. And I will see you next week with yet another video. Take care.